try with my buildings to stimulate, to provoke a feeling for the place. Each place has a history. We know that. It's a memorial for the people who had worked here in very poor conditions. I feel a lot of compassion when you imagine how people had to work here, what they had to do. This was hardship. And so, in a way, the architecture should speak a little bit of labor, simple things, and so these two things, important. And I was so happy when I walked up there, then I can see that the building is there and now you cannot overlook the old foundations. see that the buildings try to be simple and they try to be very straightforward in their construction as you would think it's not a very sophisticated construction beams, drills, bolts. I love it but it's uh, very simple and when we're sitting in here you can see it's about being inside and outside, and the miner's world inside is a dark world, right? Okay, so this is clear, this is maybe almost a little bit theatrical in a, in a fun way, so, but you can see inside, outside, carved out, looking up. If you make a black space, then the color of the nature comes into the space. Yes. And this is what happens here. But here's uh, an important part of my work as an architect, because I don't paint and I don't use light and shadow like in film. I use real materials. So the materials are my an important way of expressing myself through ar in architecture. And they should make sense to the theme. Right? So here you have two things. There's a scaffolding, which speaks of simple industrial architecture, which has to do with the simple constructions the miner needed to do in order to do what they had to do. So, Simple timber, screws and bolts, corrugated, that's that world. And then there's another world, this box we're sitting in. This is a contemporary black box in a way. This has nothing to do with the Winer's world. Unless you come in and see the dark, and then, oh, maybe it has something to do, but it's not a direct quote. This is an architectural transfer transformation. And the whole thing is custom made for this place. 
the books up there, everything here is made for this place. That's how I work. You won't find this anywhere else. This is a long process and what I have to say, you are very fortunate that your National Tourist Road people have such a project which is completely unique in the world, which produces so wonderful things in your country, which have nothing to do with commercial, with commercial enterprise, but with your history and artists and things and we the, the splendor of nature this is truly wonderful congratulations to this to your to whoever had this idea <laughs>